welcome to Spirit Sirens. Uh, for now, eventually these videos will get posted to a new YouTube channel when I figure out the name of that YouTube channel. Uh, so, quick introduction. I'm Megan Campbell. I work at a local distillery here in Phoenix, Arizona. I love talking about alcohol. I write on spiritsirens.com, <clears throat> making um, posts about liquor and how to make drinks and things at home a little bit better, trying to make it a little more accessible. And um, I am starting my own distillery. And I want to document that whole process, not only for me, but for everybody else so you can see just how more how much work it goes into not only building uh, a small business, but a distillery specifically, since it's not something you see very often. So, um, full disclaimer, I'm starting at pretty much the very beginning, so I'll, I'll talk about all the paperwork and everything like that, um, but the whole point is that you're going to see how much things change when you're starting from a beginning idea to when something actually gets built, where it gets built and how it gets built and what it looks like and what's happening in it. So don't fall in love with ideas too much because you never know if it's something that actually is going to pan out or if it's uh, a sad dream or if it was just a bad idea to begin with and I got talked out of it. So there's like a million things to talk about, but today the thing on my mind is names because it's not just what you name your business. Like, you know, I personally am super against businesses that go with like, you know, Bob and Sons and, and the Jerry's family business, like, because you're not just picking a name that goes on your building, you're picking a brand. And if you go with Bob and Sons, you know, Bob and Sons Distillery, like, that means that the people who care about it are Bob, his sons, and the people that love them. That's not a national brand, unless you can somehow get the nation to care about Bob and Sons, which is a lot harder than getting the nation to care about one brand that says high quality. So I'm thinking about names. Um, I really wanted the name Lost Oasis Distilling for mine, but if you, there's a very popular, very well known in the industry, uh, distillery called Lost Spirits. And while I could maybe argue that it's not the same, and I should be able to call it Lost Oasis. Um, it would require legal fees, and I am poor. And I don't think I really want to spend whatever money I have to make this happen on fighting over a name that I have no reason to commit to fully. So I've been racking my brain all day yesterday trying to think of you know, not only what name sounds cool, but what brand says what I'm I'm trying to do, right? What brand are you gonna go, oh, that name and that that brand really match up with what they're doing. So um, what I really liked about Lost Oasis was in part that I think it communicates where I am because and this is one of those things that is subject to change should things go wrong. But what I really want, if you're familiar with the Arizona region, is to be right at the base of the White Tank Mountains, which if you're familiar with the Arizona region is like in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's there. <clears throat> um, that's not true. There are people there. There's a lot of construction going on there. It's technically the city of surprise. There's also some of it in the city of Waddell, um, which is totally growing. There's a bunch of people moving to the city of Surprise. Wonderful place. Uh, if you're not familiar with Arizona and you want to be familiar with Arizona, check it out. Great communities, really good prices for like 
massive homes. They have like six bedroom homes out there with like an RV garage and like two living rooms. And you, depending on what you get, you don't get a lot of like backyard, but these houses are huge and it's like, oh yeah, 350,000 for six bedroom house like 4,000 square foot house. It's ridiculous. Um, like, I feel like if I had enough kids to fit six, to need six bedrooms, I'm like, fuck you guys. You're like, like barracks right now. Just knock out all the walls on the top floor. All those fuckers are in barracks. It's too many kids. But the point being, great area. Lots of people moving out there. Um, lots of families with disposable income. And I want to be out there. I want to be out at the base of the White Tank Mountains. And it's effectively in the middle of nowhere. So you got to have a reason to go out there. And you got to have a name that communicates that you're in the middle of nowhere. So when someone sees <clears throat> Lost Oasis to Ceiling, and then they go, Oh, I wonder where that is. And then they see where it is. I want to be like, yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's lost. It's an oasis. I get it. Um, but I think it's taken. That's my dog. She's. But the neighbors got home. Fair enough. Come here. And the neighbors in their house again. Yeah? Did they have the nerve to come home again? How rude. Those darn neighbors. Mm -hmm. I know. But conveniently, for the destroy I work at, I was asked like a million years ago to put together a list of uh, good names for Arizona made products. So I can find, I think I put it in the creative ideas folder. That's where I should have put it. Oh, let's see. Ah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. I've got something labeled speakeasy name ideas. Let's see what that yields. So I've been working there for about three years. Um, nice. I've been working there for about three years, so I have a lot of papers and ideas and projects related to the distillery that either never got uh, filled out or we went with other names, things like that. Um, this is for the speakeasy. I don't think any of these are going to uh, really work for what I'm looking at, but they're cool names. So like Old Sherry, The Pharmacy, uh, The Cat and the King, derived from the phrase, a cat may gaze upon a king. Um, that's kind of cool. I like that. Wouldn't work for my thing, but I like it. I know why I watched, I know where I wrote that down. Uh, the Best Bad Things, I actually really like that. Um, I just copy and pasted a phrase in here that says, My doctor told me to watch my drinking. Now I drink in front of a mirror. That would be a terrible name. I don't know how I could translate it into a name, but I still love it. Uh, water to Wine, The Sporting Fraternity, The Turf in the Ring, The Victorians and the Fraternity. That's too long of a name. That wouldn't be a good Good thing. Uh, Revenue Man and Dry County. That would be a little ironic. That's cute, I like it. But that piece of paper did not help me. Let's see. Seven and Seven, something we had talked about at one point was um, doing a line of uh, Seven Deadly Sins, Seven Heavenly Virtues and have them in like like 200 milliliter bottle packs where you can get like the seven sins as a pack and you would have your seven different like flavored vodkas or infused spirits or something like that. Um, and, and I was like, I'm in charge of the flavored vodkas. That's like my passion is the infusion. I love distilling, but I think there's just as much art that goes into what you do after it comes out of the still. It's not all what happens inside the still. Um, you can make some really incredible things uh, once it's the spirit's already done. You can still make something awesome. 
Um, that is also not what I need, but it's cool, and I'll definitely talk about that another time. Oh, there we go. It's labeled Potential Arizona-Related Names with Notes. Um, so I'm not sure why I didn't click on that one first, because it was really obvious that was the paper I was looking for. Oh, let's see. The first one on the list is basically unpronounceable. Um, it is apparently the name Arizona in Navajo. Um, who's do? Hauzu? Yeah. Um, cool looking, probably cool um, name. Like, I'm sure you could come up with some really spectacular uh, logos and things like that based on it. Um, but I, I'm strongly against picking names that you have to explain how to pronounce to every single person that comes in. I don't, I don't like knowing exactly what conversation I'm going to have literally every time a customer walks in like, Oh, Hey, welcome in. This is how you pronounce it. I'm just going to stop you right there before you ask me because you're definitely going to ask. Oh, four corners. Not bad. Definitely could have some good, um, imagery with that one. The only problem is I'm nowhere near the four corners and I think that would be a little misleading. Uh, Sonoran. That's actually what I texted my boyfriend this morning. Um, Sonoran Sands Distilling. I like it. I like alliteration. I think it sort of grabs on to people and you can always do like the SS like in the logo together. Uh, 1912 vodka that was so this was the name i was naming drinks um the 1912 vodka would be um a good name that's the year arizona became a state pueblo fool's gold copper there's already copper canyon distilling i don't want to put copper in any like of the name um even though i absolutely love copper it's like my favorite metal uh, Gila River, Ponderosa, Grand Canyon. There's already Grand Canyon distilling. I can't take that one. Uh, 128 degrees jalapeno vodka. That was uh, the hottest day we've ever had. That's the, the record temperature in Arizona. It's 128 degrees. So in case you were ever looking for reasons not to come here, um, there's that one day in June or July. Don't come here that day. Monsoon Gin, Flash Flood, Oro, uh, Mano de Oro is Hands of Gold. I thought that'd be a good whiskey name. Mano de Oro Distilling. Hand of Gold Distilling. I kind of like that. Uh, Painted Desert. That'd be good. Painted Desert Distilling. Check it out. Painted Mountains, that's not a bad idea, since I'm right on the edge of the mountains, the Painted Mountains. Obviously, I could do, like, White Tank Distilling or, um, you know, Surprise Distilling. I hate that name, actually. That's throwing it out there, because I know it's technically an option. I hate it. Um, Route 66, I'm sort of close to Route 66. Also, there's a Route 66 brand tequila, so I can't do that for this. Um, the three universities, obviously, Devil, Wildcats, Lumberjack, Paranel. Get out of there! Uh, Kachina. I feel like I would be really towing the line on, um, like, racial stuff there. Like, I would... I don't think I could do that considering I have like no Native American um, background. I think that might be a little rude. Oh, Cardinals, Suns, Diamondback, Coyote, Roadrunner. Roadrunner Rum is what I put. That's a good name. I like it. 
cactus, wren, swallowtail. At this point, you can obviously see I was um, just writing down stuff related to the state. Petrified wood, turquoise. I do like turquoise. Turquoise sun distilling. And it'd give you a really good, like, identifiable color. And the merchandise would be pretty easy to, to build off of there. Like that. Turquoise sun distilling. Ditat Deus is our state motto. It's Latin for God and Riches. Um, that's another one. Cool name. Don't think... I want to explain it to everyone who comes in. Uh, the bolo is our state tie. I, I'm not going to call it bolo distilling. That really sets the scene for like a uh, westerny old time distilling thing, which would be like cool, but that's super not what I'm doing. Uh, the Arizona State Gun is the Colt Single Action Army Revolver. And I literally wrote in here, like you can see, I literally wrote that it's just a fun fact. Doesn't matter. Not important information. Would not make a good name for anything. That's just a fun fact. Uh, superstition. I wrote it's a good name. Someone will take it soon. Superstition. I know there's superstition metery, so I probably... I think it's all alcohol things related go into everything, so I don't think I could take that. Uh, superstition, Red Rock. I'm not in Sedona, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's see. The Good Oak is Hart's Ona. Uh, it's a good whiskey name. Snowball. Um, no. Stargazer, Midnight Moonshine, Revolver, Rum, Devil's Drink. Yeah, not into any of those. I would say so far definitely my favorites are going to be uh, Turquoise Sun Distilling. That's not great. There we go. That's better. Turquoise Sun Distilling and uh, Sonoran Sands Distilling. I think both of those would look really good. Painted mountains distilling, anything really something mountains. Like I want to have like a, you got to have an adjective for flavor and then a noun for like, like a solid identifiable feeling, right? You can't just have painted distilling, like that doesn't, that doesn't work. But painted sun, painted mountains, like you want to have something to ground it. So, names, they're hard. And I have to let go of the name that I wanted. Or figure out how much a lawyer costs, but that's probably expensive. And I don't want to pay them. Alright, well, if you have any suggestions or questions or ideas on things that you want to know about opening a distillery. I've got like a million things I'm going to tell you and a million more videos I'm going to make, but it's always nice to have questions and guidance and stuff. So let me know.